Assalamualaikum and hi students. Okay, with me again, Cikgu Azrini. So today we are going to do a revision on unit 6, light and dark. Okay, before this, we already completed all the subtopic in unit 6. So today we are going to go through once again and uh, revise what have you learned before. So let's start. This is the learning standard that you're supposed to master in this uh, topic. Okay, 6.1.1 state uh, sources of light and then differentiate the activities carried out in light and dark situation and then explain how shadow is a form by carrying out activities. Compare and contrast the clarity of shadows when light is blocked by different objects by carrying out investigations and then create a shadow game. So all of this, okay, we have learned in our previous lesson. Kita dah belajar dah semua ni. Okay, so we just go through once again. Okay, and let's uh, revise what we have learned. The first one. Okay, the sources of light. Objects that give out light are called sources of light. So, here are some examples. Okay, ada beberapa contoh di sini. Fire, and then torch, lamp, laptop, television, light bulb, okay. But our main source of light is the sign. Uh, sumber utama, sign. Okay. And then light, uh, the comparison. Okay, light and dark situation. The comparison, uh, what is the, what are the suitable activities that we can do in the uh, light situation and then dark situation. For example, uh, we can uh, read books or we can play okay, in a light situation. Uh, just imagine if you want to read but there is no light. Okay, it's hard, right? Okay, it's hard to read and play in the dark situation. And then in the dark situation, it's uh, suitable for us uh, to sleep or play firecrackers. Okay. Uh, lagi cantik lah kalau kita main bunga api waktu gelap. Kalau main waktu siang nanti, tak nampak dia punya percikan-percikan cahaya tu kan. Uh, same with uh, sleep. It's easy for us to sleep in a dark situation compared to the light situation. And then our next uh, subtopic is about the shadow. Bayang bayang. How are shadows a form? Uh, macam mana boleh terhasil bayang bayang? Can you look here? The shadow is black in color. Okay, bayang bayang berwarna hitam. Okay, the shadow form when an object block the source of light. Okay, but before that, we must know what direction does light travel. Uh, light travels in straight lines. Cahaya bergerak lurus. A shadow is a form when an object does not allow light to pass through it. Okay, look here. This is a light source. Okay, and then object. And then shadow form on the screen. So, the shadow will be formed when an object block the source of light. Okay, bila ada objek yang menghalang cahaya, 
uh, akan terhasillah bayang-bayang. Okay, in our previous lesson also, okay, we have uh, do an experiment or an investigation okay, on the clarity of shadows. We have test a uh, few things, okay, few objects. Kita ada uji beberapa objek untuk tengok kejelasan bayang-bayang. Okay, the clarity of shadows. So, there are three types of uh, materials actually. Opaque, translucent and then transparent. Okay, this is uh, not in your textbook. Okay, but this is uh, just um, general information. Okay, pengetahuan am yang kamu akan belajar juga sebenarnya. Okay, during your year 4 I think. Okay, waktu tahun 4 nanti kamu akan belajar. So, what is the meaning of an opaque object? Okay, an object that do not let any light pass through it. And then translucent, an object that allows some light to pass through it. And the last one, transparent, an object that let light pass through it. You can look here. Can we see through all objects? Uh, boleh ke kita, uh, cahaya tu tembus semua objek? So, there are three um, three objects here. Okay, we have a glass. Okay, very clear and uh, transparent glass. And then frosted glass and ceramic, okay, ceramic bowl. Kalau dalam uh, the first glass ni, yang uh, very clear and transparent, okay, we can see through. Kita terus boleh nampak ada apa kat dalam. Okay, frosted glass, we can see, okay, but not so clear. Okay, we cannot see clearly. And then ceramic, we cannot see. So, the light can pass through the transparent object. The light is partially blocked. So, this is a translucent object. And then, this is an opaque object. Light is completely blocked. Let's see some uh, other examples. Okay, a book. A book, is it an opaque, translucent or transparent? So, a book is an opaque object. Okay, it does not allow any light to pass through. So, it will produce a very dark and clear shadow. Cahaya tak boleh tembus. Jadi, dia akan hasilkan bayang-bayang yang jelas. Next one, a glass. Okay, a glass is a transparent object. All the lights can pass through. So, there is no shadow formed. And then the last one, tracing paper. Tracing paper is a translucent object. It will produce less clear shadow. Okay, masih menghasilkan bayang-bayang, tapi bayang-bayang yang kurang jelas, less clear. Okay, so you look here, transparent. If an object is transparent, it means light completely pass through it and you can see clearly through it. Okay, kita boleh nampak terus, cahaya pun boleh tembus. So, there is no shadow formed. Takkan ada bayang-bayang yang terhasil bila awak suluh dia. Sebab cahaya boleh tembus. And then translucent. If an object is translucent, it means some 
light pass through it but the light is scattered so you can't see clearly through it. Uh, for example, um, plastic bag yang ada warna, okay? Plus, um, bag plastik berwarna ataupun uh, tracing paper tadi, uh, there is an example of translucent object. Okay, ada bayang-bayang but less clear. Okay, opaque object. If an object is opaque, it means no light can pass through it. It blocks the light. Okay, example, box, book, uh, table, pencil. Okay, it will block the light completely and it will form a very clear shadow. How are shadows made? Shadows are made when there is an object blocking the light from hitting the surface. So you look here, hang and then touch. Uh, so what happened? Okay, the hang will block the light. Tangan akan menghalang cahaya. So the shadow will be formed on the screen. Okay, this means that the shadow will always be on the opposite side of an object to the sun or light. So, which direction is the sun? So, you can see here a man and he's a shadow. Okay, boleh nampak kat sini ada lelaki dan bayang-bayang. Jadi dekat mana sebenarnya agak-agak kedudukan matahari? Kedudukan sumber cahaya? It must be on the opposite side. Kena arah yang bertentangan. So the correct position of the sun. Okay. Dekat B. Dekat B ni, kedudukan matahari yang betul. So, this man block the light and then the shadow will be formed here. Lelaki ni menghalang cahaya matahari. Lalu, terhasillah bayang-bayang. Next. ah, So, this is an object and this is shadow. Ha, yang hitam ni lah bayang-bayang dia. So, which direction is the sign? Ha, dekat mana sepatutnya kedudukan matahari? It must be on the opposite side also. Hmm. Kedudukan matahari di A. Kedudukan yang bertentangan dengan objek. Ha, sebab tu kalau waktu pagi, okay, early morning, the sun is low in the sky and cast a long shadow. Okay, kalau waktu pagi dengan petang, okay, early morning and evening, biasanya kita akan tengok bayang-bayang tu panjang. And it is different. Dia tak sama, dia berbeza kalau waktu tengah hari, at noon. The sun is above the tree and cast a short shadow. Sun betul-betul dekat orang um, kata tegak atas kepala selalu waktu tengah hari. Jadi bayang-bayang kita akan jadi pendek. Ha, jadi bayang-bayang waktu pagi dengan petang panjang. Tapi bayang-bayang waktu tengah hari pendek. Ha, this actually you can try at home. Boleh cuba tengok keluar rumah waktu pagi, waktu tengah hari, waktu petang. Ha, tengok bayang-bayang mana yang panjang. Bayang-bayang mana yang pendek? Okay, kenapa pendek? Sebab waktu tengah hari, uh, matahari betul-betul tegak dekat atas. Jadi, bayang-bayang yang terhasil tu pendek. Okay, shapes of a shadows. Uh, ni pun tak ada dalam textbook. Okay, this is an uh, additional information lah. Uh, can an object form shadows of different shapes? Okay, satu objek dia boleh menghasilkan 
pelbagai bentuk bayang-bayang. Uh, contoh kalau kita suluh ke arah ini, bayang-bayang uh, bentuk silinder yang terhasil. Tapi kalau ke arah ini pula, circle. Okay, so an object can form shadows of different shapes. Size of shadows. Okay. Um, size bayang-bayang pun boleh berubah-ubah. Kalau kita dekatkan ataupun kita jauhkan objek dengan sumber cahaya. Kalau tengok ni. Objek dekat dengan lampu suluh. This thin okay, and the torch okay, dekat. Lepas tu apa jadi kalau dia jauhkan? Ha, boleh tengok saiz bayang-bayang ni. Dia mengecil ataupun membesar. This also you can try at home. Boleh cuba sebenarnya. Okay, this is just an additional information about the shadows. If the light is closer to the object, the shadow is bigger. Lagi dekat. Uh, sumber cahaya dengan objek lagi besar bayang-bayang okay, if the light is further to the object, the shadow is smaller, kalau uh, objek jauh daripada sumber cahaya, bayang-bayang yang terhasil kecil, uh, tengok ni, ni kecil yang ni, bayang-bayang dia besar ok, same here with this uh, ball. Tengok kalau uh, bola dekat dengan sumber cahaya. Okay, this ball is near to the torch. The shadow form is a bigger in size compared to this one. Bila jauh, the shadow form is smaller in size. The closer to the light source and object is, the bigger the shadow will be. Okay, this is because the object blocks more of the light. The further away from the light source and object is, the smaller the shadow will be. This is because the object blocks less of the light. So, this is a science recreation hand shadow play. Various shadows can be formed using your hands. Produce the shadows below using light from a torch. Okay, you can try this at home. This is in your textbook. Okay, boleh buat beberapa uh, bentuk. Boleh cuba buat kat rumah. Beberapa bentuk. Uh, haiwan. Bayang-bayang haiwan. Okay, by using your hand. So, the conclusion from this uh, topic. Okay, you can read number 1 until 7. Number 1, the examples of sources of light are the sun, fire and lamps. Number 2, the sun is a natural source of light. Okay, because there is also man-made okay, source of light, for example, lamps. Okay, kalau sun ni uh, sumber semula jadi. Uh, tapi ada juga yang buatan manusia macam lampu. Okay, number three, an activity can be carried out easily in a bright area. Number four, in the dark, we need light to carry out activities. Number five, shadow is a form when light is blocked by an object. Number six, the clarity of shadows depends on the object used. Uh, yang ni yang kita belajar tadi, opaque, uh, translucent, transparent. So, ada objek yang akan hasilkan a very clear shadow dan ada objek yang no shadow form. Ha, tak ada bayang-bayang yang terhasil. And then, number seven, wayang kulit and hand shadow play are examples of interesting shadow games. Ha, sebelum ni pun, uh, I already ask you okay, to do the wayang kulit and uh, the, puppet, the puppet play. Okay, so this is a very interesting science project actually that you can do at home. So your homework, science activity book, page 43 and 44. 
Okay, page 43, create a shadow play. Okay, you have created a shadow play before, okay, in our previous lesson. So here, you need to write the correct sequence of steps to create a shadow play. Okay, you need to read all the sentences and look at all the pictures. And write the correct sequence of steps. Okay, tulis nombor berapa? Mula-mula, yang mana nombor satu? Uh, you need to read all the sentences dululah. Okay, write the number 1 until 6. And then 44, create a hand shadow. Okay, apparatus and materials, a step. So you need to try this at home. And then the question here, match the hands to the shadows. Okay, padankan gambar dengan bayang-bayang yang betul. So you can do by yourself first and then you can check the answers here. Okay, so here are the answers. Number one, okay, you need to prepare the tools and materials. Number two, sketch the required object. Number three, trace and cut the shape of the object. Number four, attach the object to a skewer. Number five, place the object close to the wall. And number six, a flash the torch onto the object and observe the shadow. So page 44. Okay, this is easy. You just need to match the hands to the shadows. First one. Okay, number two and number three. So, that's all for today. Okay, take a good care of yourself during this pandemic and keep praying that this COVID-19 will go away and we can go to school as usual. So, that's all. We will meet again in our next lesson. Okay, thank you kids and happy learning.